Hey Style Squad members, welcome to this video that I said I was going to make yesterday and I am going to show you my packing routine when I go out of town. So I'm leaving for Los Angeles in like less than 24 hours. Um, due to the tornado, a lot of shoots that I have have been relocated elsewhere. So I'm going to be going to LA tomorrow for a whopping 48 hours. So my goal here is to not only pack the stuff for my clients, but to also pack myself in this one bag. So this is my carry-on bag. And I am going to walk you through how I managed to pull this off. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 pieces of clothing. I have 2, 3, one, two, three, four, five, five pairs of shoes and a ton of jewelry. And I am going to have to pack all of this. So I am going to kind of do that and walk you through my process. I am going to have to go pick up like two more pieces for the shoot. So that's fun. So I use these guys. These are packing cubes. I will link them in the section the comment section below these were given to me um by one of my other clients for a christmas gift and they've been super helpful so basically this one bag comes with these miniature cubes and i think like a dozen of them come in here and what they're great for is when i do a shoot on location or when i am packing for myself i'll pack an outfit in this cube so i'll show you how it works um, I'm going to use a smaller cube for this. What I end up doing when I have a shoot is I pack one of these full of garment bags so I can lug them around and then I also bring my styling kit. So I'm going to take my little, my tops and I'm just going to fold them as flat as I can. I know that a lot of people are concerned right now with traveling because of the coronavirus, um, but Honestly, if it if it were up to me, um, going between Corona or the tornado, we've had equally um, bad breaks when it comes to traveling here. Oh, this still has some jewelry in it from my last shoot, so probably for the best that I clean this out. So normally I do the Marie Kondo method when it comes to folding, but when it comes to packing for the cubes, I want to keep everything as flat as possible so I can fit as many things into the cubes as I can. So I'm going to do one cube of just tops. What I like about these cubes is I'm the type of person where I'm a tornado, I'm not very organized when it comes to my own clothing, but what I do is I pack an outfit in each one, and that way, um, like I was in my best friend's wedding in December, and it was a... It was a 48 hour trip. I like to do these two and three day trips. And I had a gig the night before, flew out on a Friday. Her wedding was Saturday, did the whole wedding thing all Saturday, and then flew out at 6 a.m. Sunday morning. And the cubes actually really helped me because when I was at her house, what I would do, I got in, I knew I had the rehearsal dinner, I knew that I had, um, you know, just stuff. So I had one cube that was just outfits for the rehearsal dinner. And I had one cube that was just my bridesmaid's dress and my shoes and my jewelry. So here's one cube packed. So this is just my basic black and white tops. So I just shove it in here and I've already saved a ton of room. So I'm going to do a little time lapse video of the next part because you know what I'm doing and I'll go from there. I realized it would be easier if I got on your level and showed you this. So this is the cube and they come in different sizes. So I'm going to try to fit as many pairs of pants in this one cube as possible. So I, on pants, I like to use um, the Marie Kondo method, but it just depends. I've got multiple textures and I've got multiple, which means they're going to be multiple thicknesses. So the fewer amount of cubes, the better. I have really bad travel anxiety. Um, 
I've always had it ever since I went on my first flight. And while I try to do things to manage it, um, I just know that by not checking a bag, knowing that I have everything on me and organized, that I'm going to be just fine. So I'm getting ready to do this shoot for an artist named Mandy Barnett. If you guys have followed my story at all, then you've heard me talk about my first gig was for a play about Patsy Cline's life. And this woman played Patsy Cline. So she's doing a new record. I don't, I don't know if I can talk much about the record, but it's going to be really cool. I'm kind of bummed that we're not shooting at Nashville, but I am excited because I'm going to be able to see a lot of my friends that live in LA. So I have all the bottoms in one cube. So I'm going to do my best to show you what we're working with. So all of these guys, they're all different lengths and thicknesses, but all these are going to fit into one cube. This is also really helpful when you travel and you go through um, security. So this is my third cube. And what I'm doing, I'm just taking this cube and shoving it in here. I'm gonna probably rearrange these cubes actually because I need to do the bigger ones on the bottom. So let me just pack up these cubes and then we'll pack everything else. Another great thing about these is it comes with the pink ones and the gray ones. So I might just pack all of my photo shoot stuff in the gray ones. So the morning of the shoot, I know just to pull out the cubes that are gray. <coughs> so I am crazy and attempting to do this only in a carry-on and I may end up just packing my stuff in my purse. Um, I am going to be gone for 48 hours so I like to wear the heaviest stuff on the plane. So I'm bringing a nice jacket I will be wearing it on the plane. Um, I'm going to have a little like get ready quick makeup bag with me because I don't like to wear makeup when I fly but I like to be made up when I get off the plane. So I'm going to have that with me and I'm going to bring my jewelry, but I'm going to show you all that too. Alright, so I'm going to move this, but you guys can see it's pretty full. Um, I still have to pack my own stuff. So I need to pack some shoes. These are going to be for the shoot. I may just have to pack a cube for myself and put it in my purse in order to get everything that I need. This is going to be a tight fit. I did edit some stuff, so I took out two different look options. And I also still have to pack my kit. I'm going to keep trying this, because these shoes are worth taking, I think, for the shoot. She's also bringing some of her own, but I don't want to take any risks. Um, so I still have to pack my own stuff, and I have to pack jewelry and my kit. So what I think I'm going to do is I have one really ugly purse that I take when I fly. It's a, I shouldn't say it's ugly, ugly. It's Stella McCartney, but it's not my favorite. Um, and I have a cuter Stella McCartney one that I can throw in that and roll it up. I just don't want to risk checking a bag and not having what I need for the shoot. So I'm just packing my socks and my underwear in one. I'm packing my vintage Todd Rundgren shirt because it's a solid one. I also need to think about what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be getting there um, tomorrow night and then I'm going to be having dinner with some friends and then that's really it. I have the shoot the next day at 11 and I'm not really doing much else so I just need to have one solid pair of jeans I need to, which I'm going to be wearing on the plane. I need to have one jacket which I'm going to be wearing on the plane. Oh my god there's a spider on this. It wasn't a spider, it was my own hair. Um, so I need to be bringing my toiletries and just a couple of things to wear. I have two t-shirts already. I'm going to be wearing another t-shirt on the plane. I'm going to be wearing my jacket on the plane. I don't really need much else. I'm going to bring my onesie. Because if you're not wearing a onesie in a nice hotel in LA, what are you doing with your life? Right? So we're going to pack this. And I'm just going to bring one bra. I'm actually probably just going to wear the one I'm bringing. And that is how I get all of my things that I need on my trip.
clothes-wise into one little cube. I just need one more cube for accessories, and then I need styling kit. I can do this. My husband just made my life so much easier because he's got this carry-on and I'm going to use this as my purse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack my styling kit. So it's got my clips, it's got my little baby sewing kit, my safety pins, this guy, and I'm sure they're going to have a steamer on set. And if not, they're going to have one at the hotel, so that's going to go on the bottom. And then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to pack my jewelry. So these are pieces that I got. They're really cool from a local gal in Nashville. They're made out of old vinyl records, and it's very appropriate for the particular shoot we're doing. And then what I'm going to do is probably throw these in another cube as well because I have more jewelry that I'm bringing. So. My outfit for tomorrow, I'm going to take a picture and post it on Instagram. Um, I'm going to be wearing skinny jeans because they take up the least amount of space and they're also the easiest thing for me to work in. And I'm going to be um, bringing those. I'm going to have one of my cuter tops. And then I'm going to be wearing um, this kind of Edwardian overcoat thing because it's going to be cold tomorrow, but it's not going to be freezing anything. And I'm bringing some of my own jewelry pieces for this because I have a lot of really cool things that make sense for it, and yeah, that's the story of all this, but I'm going to finish packing I'm going to show you how I'm managing this with just two carry-ons. Okay, so the purple suitcase behind me, I don't know if you can see that, that is all the outfits for the shoot. So I have all that packed away, I got everything in cubes, I got a dozen pieces and all the shoes in cubes. So what the cubes do is if you fold everything completely flat, they give you more options to smush things down. And a lot of the stuff I'm bringing has a lot of density to it, so I was still able to do it. And then this is my other carry-on, and what I did is my styling kit's in here. My Hi. My styling kit is in here. My purse is in here. And what I'm going to do when I get to the airport after I get out of the Uber is I'm just going to make sure that I have my phone in my hand. I'll keep all my chargers in here and I will go ahead and dig my ID out. So before I go through security, I have really bad anxiety about going through security. I just want to make sure I do everything right. So I go ahead and I get everything ready. So I unzip my, I'm wearing ankle boots. So I unzip my ankle boots so I can slip them off easily. I have my computer already out, like it's ready to go. I might not even bring my computer on this trip. I might just bring my phone and hope for the best. Um, my phone's been dying a lot lately though, so I don't know. But I have everything out. So everything is easily accessible. My purse is right here with my wallet in it. Um, my keys will be stuck in here and that way I don't have to lug them around LA. But that just needs my toiletry bag and my makeup kit. And that's a very small compact kit I just take. Um, my eyeliner, I take a mini palette and a concealer and like three brushes and that's it. Obviously like my toothbrush and stuff, but that will all go in here and there's plenty of room for it in here. And then I will go to LA for 48 hours, but that's how I pack up a whole shoot without having to carry on anything. The cubes have been a really big lifesaver for me because I'm not an organized person by nature. So having everything fit in my suitcase is motivation for me to stay organized. And I used to just live out of my suitcase when I would travel, but I got kind of in the habit after I got married, if my husband does this, of unpacking everything and just like making your space for a little bit. Um, I also contacted the hotel that I'm staying in and you guys can do this too beforehand and I asked for a rolling rack in my room and I, I think I asked for two dozen hangers. So that gives me a chance to set everything up and to have the location ready to go. So when it comes time to the day of the shoot, I can just pack it up. So that's all. I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching me swear and pet my dogs while they freaked out about me traveling. But the cubes are a game changer, you guys. If you have, if you're going away for a week, you can get by with just carry-ons, I promise. Get those cubes they should pay me to promote the cubes because they're incredible. Um, but I will talk to you guys next week. And if you want to follow along, be sure to keep up with my LA travels on my Instagram. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.